My name is Nikki Oxall and I farm in Aberdeenshire with my husband James and this is the Wee Mob. We run Grampian Graziers which is a nature friendly agroecological grazier business and we integrate our cows into various different ecosystems and ecologies here to try and help increase biodiversity and promote soil health. So one of the things that we do is outwinter our cattle and that's really important for a couple of reasons. One, it makes sure that our animals are enjoying fresh air all year round. They're not going to be in a shed where they're going to potentially have a higher risk of respiratory problems. Um, and it also means that they are able to express more natural behaviour because they've got more space to do that outside. And one of the things that we use to really support that is agroforestry or silver pasture. So that's keeping animals in woodland. Now at the moment they're on uh, a bit of hill grazing here, we're giving them a bit of supplementary hay, but all around us we've got gorse scrub, um, we've got quite a lot of self-seeded birch and also willow, and that helps to give them shelter, it gives them something to rub up against if they're getting itchy, and it also means that they've got something they can browse, and even during the winter they will happily eat the woody stems of willow, which will give them a little bit of a nutrient boost when the grass has maybe got a little bit less of uh, goodness in it. Now using agroforestry and allowing our animals to be in woodland or in woodland pasture means that they can have the real benefits of that shelter during the really horrible winter weather that we've been having this year. So even when it was minus 20 overnight and we had almost three foot of snow on the ground, we were quite happy with them being outdoors because of the shelter that they were getting from the trees. It makes such a difference to their health, to their well-being, and it definitely makes things a lot easier for us in terms of our finances because we're not having to pay either for the erection of a shed or for the fuel and labour costs of cleaning that out. It also means that we don't have all of that manure that we have to deal with. So we have a much um, more evenly distributed manure across our land. Other aspects that really support outwintering in terms of nature-friendly farming is that we're creating food for animals. So when our cattle are dunging, it means that there is something there for the insects to eat, which is really, really important to ensure that they are able to access that food, can maintain the healthy soil, because all of these tiny insects and bugs have a very vital role to play in maintaining soil health. Our hardy, native and rare breed cattle are absolutely perfectly suited to being outside all year round. So we have a mix of Shetland cattle and also we have some White Galloways and they're just perfectly suited to being outwintered. They manage to get fat on thin air so this sort of ground is perfect for them during the winter and like I said we do top up with a little bit of hay just uh, where this has been under snow for so long, the deferred ground that we'd put aside for this time of year has taken a bit of a battering. But we don't feed our cattle any sort of concentrates at all, and we don't give them any additional kind of mineral licks or anything like that. And we also are able to um, reduce the need for worming. So whilst we do carry out faecal egg counts for the cattle, and um, that will give us an indicator of whether any of them did need worming, and they always come back either a zero or very low. And by reducing our reliance on wormer, we're not just saving cost, we're also promoting soil and insect health. Because as animals have been wormed, their dung goes onto the soil, and that can kill any of the microbiology and the insects that are living around the soil or around the area where the dung then lands. So really important for us that we are not having to rely on these chemicals because we want to keep this area, this space, this environment, our home, this ecology, as free from kind of any chemical inputs as we possibly can. For us, nature-friendly farming is all about making decisions that benefit the natural ecosystems and environments where our cattle live. Thinking about how we can provide food for insects, which also then provides food for small mammals. The more small mammals that we have, that increases the number of birds of prey. So we have barn owls, tawny owls, um, sparrowhawks, and plenty of buzzards here. We've also seen a merlin uh, flying along the lane just below this bit of ground. So that diversity of animals, that biodiversity, is really important to healthy ecosystem functioning. And that's something that is absolutely at the centre of any decisions that we're making as nature-friendly farmers.